hello everybody thank you for being here thanks for coming and hanging out on this uh kind of cloudy thursday if i'm seeing correctly out my window you know but that's that's cool it's it's a nice day we're, we're gonna say it's a lot it's a lot warmer than i was expecting it to be in my seat so i'm slightly regretting aspects of my outfit but not in general because i'm wearing my absolute like favorite merch shirt but don't tell k mental <laughs> and also maybe don't tell wes but it's fine. Yeah, thank you all for showing up. Um, I'm Lady QEW. This is my casual hangout playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, which is a fantastic game, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of making our way through. We're getting towards the late game at this point, um, which means a little bit more errand running. So our character is level 20. Um, our playtime is 32 hours and 23 minutes, which is lovely and delightful and palindromic. And we have six of the crystal stars. Um, so what we know is we know that Princess Peach is on the moon now. And instead of dealing with that, uh, we decided to go become a wrestling champion again. So this is going to start with a championship fight for the belt, which I hope I win. Um, and then from there, we might have a little bit more errand running, but our, our end goal hopefully by the end of the stream is to figure out a way to get to the moon, because that seems pretty important. So we'll just see how far we get. Um, Petulant Cobra, that sounds fantastic. Like a nice warm sweater, fuzzy slippers, and if it weren't just beastly hot in this room, I would very much like be joining you in that, but I think at the moment, it is much too warm to think about sweaters. So we're just gonna have at, uh, see what happens when we attempt to beat the champion for a second time, because we've definitely already done this before. Hey Viv, you're awesome. Just, just, just reminding, just reminding everybody that you're awesome. Gosh, this is so much stuff. And is any of it damaging? Not really, but that's probably fine. Kimenzel, you have always been very unusual like that. And that's okay. Um, I don't really need multi bounce on because there's only one enemy. Power smash and hammer throw. Oh, I'm excited for that petulant cobra. I'm definitely gonna go take a look. Um, I think I can keep quake hammer on. I do not need hard finder. I also do not need spike shield. That's the only time I'm gonna say that. Um, so do I want defense, attack, or the ability to change my partners? Fucking adorable. Okay. Oh, I love that! Oh, that's so great! That's like the fey version of all of those things on that sweater, Petulant Cobra. It's like the most fey. Uh, that's like the most face sweater I've ever seen. How's that, Kimenzel? How did I do it readjusting game audio for you? Ah. I think I can just get the additional defense, but then I have the extra. So maybe I want to do this. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter because this is a champion fight we've 100% done before, and so... Yeah, I think Vivian is probably still my preference for that. Um, okay! Non-boss boss fight coming up. Semi-optional mini-boss the second time, I guess? Okay. Hello there, Mr. Gonzalez. Ready for a fight, are you? Well, alright then. Let me just check here. Uh, your next opponent will be current champion in the Glitz Pit, Rockhawk. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? You need to show my paying customers all that fancy ninja stuff that you've been hiding. Now, get in there and blow the roof off, alright? Well, okay then. I will do that for you, Jolene. Use a special move. You can probably get that right out of the way on the first turn, otherwise we risk forgetting, like I did last time. Definitely just like it didn't fulfill a condition because I forgot that it existed. Now for today's main event, uh, after coming back to take the Major League's top rank, the Great Gonzales finally challenged the champion Rockhook. 
First to make his entrance, we have the Feral Nuclear Reactor, Rockhawk. Yay, the crowd cheers! Oh my gosh, that was needlessly loud, Rockhawk. Well, champ, tell us about your mindset. After all, today's challenger is the Great Gonzalez, the only man to ever wrestle the belt away from you. That is all ancient history! There is only one true champ, and that guy is Rock Hawk. I think is how I was doing this before ish, probably. One of us is walking out of here with a belt, and the other one is getting rocked. Uh, but champ, um, Gonzalez showed no signs of rest in his climbing back up the ranks. Uh, he shattered his own records, one after another. How does that strike you? Hey, shut your trap, or this Gonzalez won't be the only one feeling the rock. Is that any way to talk to your boss? I'm the champ and of story. I'm a legend, and this legend is about to rock that dude. Very fair, and big words from the champ. Hmm. And now, the challenger, who needs no introduction. The former champ returns. The superstar sequel. The great Gonzalez. That's, that's me, by the way. I'm... My name's Gonzalez, according to the wrestling fandom. Oh, what a spectacle! I had no idea pro fights were this loud and intense. Let's head up! I've never had Vivian out as a partner for this, so I didn't know her dialogue. Mario Gonzalez. <laughs> hi, Gonzalez! Say hi, Gonzalez! Oh, listen to the crowd, give it up! Uh, for the brave challenger, the great Gonzalez. Um, it's been a while since these two met, but who will emerge victorious this time? Battle's ready to begin. Here we go. I'm a little disappointed that she didn't say get ready to brawl. Well, here we go, Mario. A match against the champ. Let's get this over with. Oh, 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 oh. Time for you to meet the new improved Rock Hawk Field. The horror of a world class rock, rock, rock king. That is a hard word to pronounce. Okay, uh, so he's new and improved, but his health hasn't changed. Um, and I think probably neither have his moves, is my guess. a problem with counting on this one, but that doesn't matter. Because the purpose of that one was literally just to use a special move. So that I used a special move. Because I needed to use a special move. Ta-da! So I burned him! Oh! Rude! Heckin' rude! Don't do that to Vivian. How dare you? I'll give you words, mister. Oh my gosh, I just did 10 damage, chat! So great! I do so much damage with the best hammer! Immense ball. Oop, didn't guard well though, but that's okay. Uh, yeah! So I, I do 10 damage with Power Smash, chat, this fight. Oops, I only did seven because I got distracted. Uh, then he got knocked out by the stage! Guys, <laughs> I think this fight is just a big, huge cheat right now. <laughs> no, I don't believe this. I Am I actually gonna get rocked again? Um, yeah, dude, because I'm, like, actually just way stronger right now. Just, like, way stronger. So strong. You could have seen this coming. You couldn't play on a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, fists, and feathers of fury. What beautiful destruction. That was without a doubt an arguably, definitely, absolutely, completely an extreme battle of a very highest caliber. Ah, but there could only be one winner. And this time it was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations once again. You're our champion. Ta da! So we're the champion again, so now we never have to come back to this part. <laughs> there are definitely uh, some other things that we probably need to come
come back here for at some point, but uh, for the most part, this is this is this is what we do in this chapter. Ta -da! So I'm gonna get all my skills back, and then we are going to continue our errand running. So that amounts to chat essentially a relatively long errand. Um, essentially just us going where we didn't need to go to do something we didn't need to do to complete the game just to you know just to have a great time to have a great time oh dear they're gonna try to rush me I'm just gonna go Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Okay! So, the current trouble that we have open... Mario, yes, so strong. That is accurate, Fel. That is 100%, um... What, what is name? It's his full name. The 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 yeah, so strong is like the middle name, and so it's Mario. Oh yeah, so strong Mario. That's just canon lore. Just accurate. Um. So the trouble that we picked up last time before I took the blimp to Glitzville, which is gonna come back to bite me because I should have picked up a different trouble, was a trouble from Frankie. And if I'm remembering correctly, Frankie is the current head of the Mafia. And by that I mean Francesca is the current head of the Mafia and Frankie is her arm candy. Uh, is I'm guessing what we're gonna find. And he told us to meet him on the west side of town. Which is rather non-specific. Oh, but he is in fact outside. Well, well. Hello, Frankie. You taking on my trouble? Well, I'm glad it's somebody's, somebody tight-lipped, that's all. See, after returning from Kielhel Key, I lost my wedding ring. Believe that, and I can't really look for it in front of Francesca, so you gotta find it. I know I lost it after I got back to Rogueport, so it's somewhere in town, for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling I love you a billion times, so you gotta do this. Okay, so bad luck dude, um, lost his wedding ring, we have to find it for him. Again, um, this seems familiar. It's bigger than Mario's head. It is pretty ginormous. Um, I'm hoping that also means that it's easy to spot. Actually, what's my money situation? Hmm, that's not awful. I don't really want any of those things, though. Like, it's pronounced, I love you. Um, you're probably right. That that sounds correct to me. What do you think, chat? Does that seem like the correct pronunciation? So I don't see a giant ring the size of my head anywhere here. Oh. Thank you, Ms. Mouse. You're lovely. More of a love. I love you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that dude's back. So I could get a lot of money very quickly if I wanted to. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting, Ms. Mouse? You make a really good point. There are secrets on this screen that I haven't explored yet. So we've learned how to be a few things. Um, we've learned how to spring jump, and we've also learned how to be a boat since the last time I really paid any attention to anything over here. I think, at least. So, um, there's just a random dude's house back here, and it has a badge, as well as a star piece. How we doing, Ms. Mouse? There should be something somewhere nearby. Okay. That makes me think. Hey, Alexa, how do I be a boat? Amazing.
Okay, so that, I think, was not the thing that she was smelling from where she was. It was a little confusing. I'm also, like, really not seeing the wedding ring. Hmm. Oops. That is not what I meant to hit. Could be something somewhere nearby. Could be something somewhere nearby. Somewhere nearby. Interesting. Oh my! Well, well! Hello and welcome in, DM Shanks! Thank you for the raid. Thank you for stopping in. Hello and welcome, everybody who's popping in from uh, DM Shanks' stream. It's lovely to see you all. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna give a little bit. If you don't know DM Shanks already, they're 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 pretty they're ship of me timbers dm shakes is raining that's fantastic if you don't know dm shakes already they're they're pretty fantastic um variety streamer i guess is what i would say <laughs> um and they're also a another member of top down tabletop which is a group that i play DD with on twitch on saturdays so you know i'll do a shout out for that in a second but i want to say hello to everybody coming in so hello maritime gamer Ahoy, Fal. I know I know you were kind of here already, but there's a lovely little ahoy. Hey, oh, Notorious Fango. Great to see you, and great to see you, DM Shanks. I hope your stream was fantastic. Oh my gosh, there are things happening. Panic, panic. Hello, Vexstraws. Wonderful to see you. Hello, Poison Darth Frog. Thank you all for joining in on the raid, variety in games and time. Petulant Cobra, thank you for gifting three subs to the community. I love that. So congratulations to Lemon Paws, to Questing Couch, and to Top Top Tabletop <laughs> on your gifted subs. That's so great. On Saturday, I am putting so many Lady Q wows in chat because I can. So that is fantastic. Maritime Gamer, I love that snoop boop for, for the Lady Q welcome emote. That's just wonderful. And thank you, Fal, also for gifting a tier one sub to Maritime Gamer, Gamer TV. So congratulations on your sub, Maritime Gamer. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody who got a sub. Please enjoy um, your wonderful emotes. Y'all are fantastic and I'm super happy to have you here. <laughs> um, so if you're new in, if you don't know me, which I highly doubt, um, I'm Lady QW. I am a variety streamer um, who streams Monday and Thursday afternoons in Eastern Standard Time. And I typically play Nintendo, but I am also um, an avid D&D &D player. And as an avid D&D player, I am part of the group Top Down Tabletop on Twitch, which is DM Shanks, Vic Straws, Sherry Bomet, and myself, principally in some organization, occasionally with guests. You know, it's it's our own brand of chaos, which is fantastic. And so if you're interested in D&D content, feel free to check that channel out because it's fantastic. And also we're playing on Saturday and also I might have a costume and also it's just gonna be lovely. So what we're doing today um, in my stream though, is we're running some errands. I know. That's pretty ridiculous, but I've always heard you should prepare if you're on your way to the moon. So we did finish our champ fight. We're now a wrestling champion again, wrestling champ 2.0. And I'm looking for a wedding ring currently because Frankie has lost his, but I'm getting very distracted on that quest because Ms. Mouse has sensed something and I don't know where it is. Yes, poison Darth Frog. We are the champion again. There's something right near us here? Where? Where? Okay. What? We're on the stairs! What is she sniffing? Oh, okay. Definitely jumped near there, but fine. Whatever. 
That was a very weird spot for her to consider. Um, so the way her sniff works is like, this means it's somewhere. And as you get like closer to where it is, she's supposed to like give you better statements or suggestions. Oh my! Oh my! Well, well, well! But is it there to sniff on a heavily used staircase? Okay, okay, Menzel, get out. Notorious Mango, thank you so much for that gifting that sub to the community. Um, and congratulations to Nemi on that gifted sub. So please enjoy your emotes. Um, and thank you specifically, Notorious Mango, because I believe that started a hype train. So y'all enjoy yourselves with that. Okay, so it's not on here, that's good. Um, we had a train in our last chapter, uh, but I don't intend to ride it today. I, I might need to. Come on, come on, who's Mouse? Honey, be more helpful. Is it back here somewhere? It's probably back here somewhere. That is true. You know what? Uh, Kay Menzel makes a point. I, I do in fact have a community discord Oh my gosh, that was a, was a, oh, oh, oh. Okay, leave, leave me alone, dude, I'm trying to jump. Thank you. Um, I do have a community Discord, and if you're a sub, you can technically join it, which is fantastic. Um, Petra the Cobra, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'll board the hype train, which is fantastic. And Val, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Notorious Mango. Which is, you know, just a beautiful way of... Oof. Oof. Notorious. Oh, that sounds rough. Well, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community in that context, and I'm really glad that you got one back. And thank you, Poison Darth Frog, for the 100 bits for the two-time champ, which is fantastic. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. And Maritime Gamer TV, thank you so much for the 96 bits. Um... We gonna we gonna have to um, we gonna have to get ourselves some some ekin <laughs> some ekin butts to butts in here because that's pretty fantastic and I love that. Um, thank you guys all so much for your generosity. That's really sweet. Um, but as as K Menzel says, there's no expectation of that, and your presence is in fact delightful enough for me. Oh my gosh, Ms. Mouse, for real though. Like, what are you smelling? We are inside a house, honey. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. I don't, I don't know what she's sensing. I have no idea. So I'm gonna have to give up because I already found a little like star bit piece. It's fine, I'll be back. Mostly I'm supposed to be looking for a wedding ring. There are a lot of things nearby, it's true. But typically she means secret things. <laughs> secret things that you need to pay attention to. Um, I also don't see a wedding ring back here. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you so much, Notorious Mango, for redeeming Stop It's Hammer Time um, for the jump power. I will try and ensure that I get into some sort of combat while you are here uh, so that you can see that pay off, but also, fantastic reminder that currently my badges are set up for a champ fight and not for anything remotely useful. So we're gonna drop that, we're gonna drop that. Um, and I think where we're at is wanting those, those, and that friend right now. Okay. Wedding ring. Where would I be hiding if I were a wedding ring? Oops. Probably not in the river, but that's fine. Poison Darth Frog, thank you so much for stopping in. Um, I really appreciate it. You have yourself a wonderful day with whatever it is you need to do. Oh look, there's a wedding ring! Chad, I found it! Ah, uh, but now I need to get to it. Which means I need Strunked, my friend Strunked. So Strunked. Yes. Oh, poison Darth Punk, thank you for the six bits. That is beautiful and wonderful. 
<laughs> if Pedmo from Barnier is anything to go off of, it should have been right next to the guy. You would think that Petulant Cobra, and thank you so much for just refusing to let that rest, uh, because that really was a very ridiculous thing to have, like, noticed and pointed out. Um, and I enjoy that. But in fact, it was on the whole other side of town, which he definitely couldn't just walk to, for sure. So, we have located your ring, Mr. Mob Boss. You found it! Yes. My ring thanks Mario from the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward. Um, I haven't even been able to look her in the eye lately. I kind of miss her now. So if you'll excuse me. Franny. Well, that's lovely. Um, and now I can play a new game if I want to gamble. Oops. So ridiculous. Oh. I'm remembering something. I'm just going to turn around real quick. Yes. So there's a weird discoloration on this wall. And I probably could have done this ages ago. But I didn't think to. There is a sneaky shine sprite hidden behind this building. That would have just given me an apoplectic fit if I had had to find that with Ms. Mao's. Because that's so difficult to spot in context. I think I got the one from way over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Choo choo, everybody. It's pretty delightful. I, I already have all the um, level one hype emotes, so I didn't get anything new. But it's somewhere nearby. You're not wrong, Petulant Cobra. You're just not helpful. That's how I'm going to say that. I already got that. Okay. Okay, okay. I think there's a couple more troubles, but they should be solvable. <laughs> that is a challenge that I would love to see Maritime Gamer. Legit. Would. Okay, so we need to get ingredients. We need to get a book for Toodles and a security code for the businessman. I lent a book to Ms. Jolene, and now I need it back and rather quickly. Please meet me in Poshley Heights. Okay. I mean, it's not a live deal because Mario doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't even know how we would test the, like, consumptive power of his mouth. I, I'm regretting that sentence so much already, chat. Okay, I think I might have enough for something that I want here. Yeah, we got ourselves a flower finder and the item hog. Yes, I'm sure that I want it. Yes, I will trade you for more. Call up the ghost of Bob Hoskins. That's as close as we'll get, probably. <laughs> I have an emote for that. Okay, so I need to go to Poshley Heights. That is a great question, Petulant Cobra. I have tried to wipe a lot of that from my memory, and so I do not have a current recollection. Aha, but we could get into combat right now if we wanted to, which I think is probably the only opportunity where that might happen. So we need to jump man it up um, as a wonderful thanks for the redemption of uh, jump man. I'm realizing I don't have a great partner for this, so I'm just gonna finish this dude off. And then... I'm gonna defend. Because, in the spirit of this type of redemption, I'm just gonna defeat the whole battle with Mario and his dog. Which is fantastic. So I know that they are lurking, but thank you Notorious Mango for that redemption. I'm actually gonna leave it up, because if I get into a more interesting fight, I might do that twice. Um, that is a fight that's kind of annoying to, to finish with your jump, because 
because of the defense stat, um, but it's possible. So Poshley Heights is this way, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so Toodles the Toad lives in Poshley Heights. She wants a book. And apparently we have to talk to her before we can talk to Julian, which is fine. I'm happy to do that, obviously. I think this is her house. Fast travel brought to you by non-Euclidean sewers. That is correct. Oh, so you accepted my request for aid with my little trouble, you delightful man, you. Is this Saturday the new campaign on Top Down Tabletop? Yes, Poison Darth Frog. It is technically, sort of. Um, uh, the, the way it's being classified is we are doing a superhero one-shot using the Mutants and Mastermind 3rd edition, I think. Um, and so we are trying out Heroes for the very first time ever for me. Um, it is a replay, I think, of the... Uh, of the rule set for Shanks and Vix, um, but we are launching that this Saturday. We're playing through a one-shot and assuming it goes well, we do have plans to kind of jump ahead a little bit in time and sort of make it a, a more long-term campaign. Um, but this Saturday is specifically also supposed to be more in the one-shot territory possibly depending i don't know what dm shanks is planning honestly so i'm fully willing to just dive in and go yep this saturday is a new campaign <laughs> uh, so we are playing superheroes it's gonna be fantastic uh toodles i just decided i very much want to read a magazine i lent to jolene that doesn't sound as urgent that doesn't sound as urgent as her trouble and the fact that it's far and she didn't want to go, but she posted a trouble in rope port. Sort of, yeah, Poison Darth Frog, that is kind of the intention. Um, I, I don't know if we can call it an origin story for the heroes, but it's sort of an origin story for them working together as a team. Um, and potentially thinking about when they graduate from school, you know, starting some kind of business solving troubles for people. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that sounds great, Maritime Gamer. Um, I see no, virtually no problems with that whatsoever. I think I'm gonna do two things at once, chat. I think I'm gonna do two things at once. That's, ah, rude. But I missed. This is a fail. Always wear your spike shield badge. Rude. I'm just gonna do that again. I'm gonna continue with this weird jump mechanic and just see how many things I can fight with the jump. I feel invincible with spike shield badge chat. It's probably really unhealthy. Okay, however, we're gonna do two real quick errands since we're passing this screen. One of them is we're gonna get ourselves another shine spade. Gone for the return postage badge. Um, is the return postage? I'm not even sure I have heard of that badge, Petulant Cobra. I'm gonna be honest. My, my runs, my playthroughs of this in general have been very casual, and so unless it was necessary, it's possible I didn't know. Oh, the bottom of the pit of trials. Okay. I have never made it further than level 80 in the pit of trials. Um, I am going to try to at least get that record. I might even try to beat it, depending. Let's go with Vivian, because she's the best. So no, the return postage badge is not one that I have. Wow. I do find in this game in particular, the pit is a lot more difficult than in um, Super Paper Mario. because many fights like 
by nature drain your resources, and especially when you're getting to the higher level stuff, it's like, I don't even know how to carry enough stuff to heal up the way I need to. If you're worried about feeling invincible, that'll go to your head, no spoilers. Get over here. Get over here. Or don't. I just want to spring jump things. Oh my gosh, why do they have so many? That's fine. Vivian, you can punch it for me, right? Punch it with fire. Hey, Voila. Lovely. Oh man, I had 69 star points for that whole fight and I didn't notice. That's just rude of me. Oh my gosh. So many of them. So many enemies, chat. So much destruction is necessary. Yeah, if you're in Oh, Luigi's in the audience! Chad, Luigi's in the audience! And I got so distracted I let that one hit me! And then I just failed at that one, that's fine. Look, we got ourselves a, a little Luigi friend in the corner there! Just being all hippity hoppity happy! Love it. Love it. Thanks for being here, bro. Thanks for supporting. I mean, he's really busy in between. Like, there's so much adventuring he's doing. Well, thankfully, came Menzel. If you're feeling bad for the people sitting behind Luigi because he's tall, there are, in fact, no people sitting behind Luigi. They are all peenies. Which is actually worse. Now he's not there anymore, so I guess he's done with supporting us. Vivian's so stylish. That is okay, Vix. Enjoy your video editing if you if you can, if that's something. Yes. But feel free to slink away if you need to. See you later. Um and, and I guess I could plug that a little bit. We're, uh, if you're familiar with Top Down Tabletop, we're playing some games in Discord that we don't really want. So, like, just, you know, if you hang out in that Discord, just check it out. You know? Just check it out. But yeah, thank you for being here, Vix. And I hope that you have yourself a wonderful afternoon. Okay, so that was one quick errand. I say quick. That was, like five combats, all of which I solved by jumping. So I hope Notorious Mango feels really good about their redemption. I have now done like 15 minutes of exclusive jump content. Okay. And so then the other little bit of itty bitty Aaron that we're gonna run um, is we're gonna go past the thousand year door while we're down here. We have to go back to the surface anyway to get to Jolene. That's where we're going to get to Glitzville. Delightful. So let's just stop here and have it teleport us back to Professor Franklin since that's definitely how this works. My chair is unstable. That's fine though. Okay, so we have requested that the crystal star reveal to us more crystal starry things.
Has it always taken this long? I was kind of worried that star was broken. Brought the wrong one. Yeah, so it's telling me to go to the moon. And there's a bubble city on it. I'm having massive Commander Keen vibes from that, from that city. Is that right? According to the map, the last crystal star is... It can't be. I mean, Princess Peach already said she was on the moon. So, I don't know why you gotta disbelieve on that, Viv. Moon Lanti. Not for reals. Oh, Vivian, you're delightful. How's the paper route or whatever this is? I had to get my lunch started. <laughs> DM Shakes, that's fantastic. You know what? The paper route is definitely getting routed. Um, we're going to Moon Lanti. That's that's what we're doing. Maybe not immediately, but definitely soon. Um, Fell. All I can say to that is this was a triumph. You do you with your redemptions, man. If you wanna, if you wanna hear whatever is gonna happen, bring it on, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Fala Rinks, for this redemption. I'm voice acting the bangers on demand. <laughs> For the next few minutes, what you will hear is the voice of a computer on the moon. <laughs> Done with some singing where possible for flavor. We are looking for a way to the moon to find the princess. This is the plot. And tech is a perfect computer. <laughs> this was a triumph. Making notes here. Huge success. <laughs> the professor is also doing research. We cannot go to the moon right away. Email. As a computer, I love email. <laughs> Unlike the streamer who hates it, an email from the real Zip Toad. Well, 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 well. We will try to continue our trouble seeking while we wait for the professor. Step one, find the blimp. Step two, go to Glitzville. Step three, Welcome, snake bird priestess. It is such lovely to see you. Today we are singing for several minutes as tech the computer. Upon rebooting in the last chapter, he learned to sing. And now, must give narration to everything I do. Where is Princess Peach the Moon? Currently, we are 
in process of hunting for a book or magazine. Speed is of the essence. Strunked will assist. <laughs> Dear the real zip toad, how did you get this number? We have literally never met. <laughs> Why does the whole world have my email? <laughs> Is it this broken computer voice? Do you need something? Mm, Toodles magazine. Oh, yes, I know the one. All right, all right, I'll return it soon. Um, I have to return it now. But that magazine. Okay, fine. Give me a moment. Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed this magazine as a promoter. That is all. I needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. Suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. Need more data. What is in this magazine? We cannot check. Sad. But we have what we need for what we are doing. So much of the music in this game is good. So much of the music by the streamer is not. <laughs> Check the computer, the musical. Check the rebooted computer, the singer. We return, we return, we return to Toodles. Does anyone remember how long I set that for? Because I do not. That was a close one. I'm making a note here. Not that good. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I was not very specific. That is like me. Then we will continue until the trouble has been solved. Did you get the wrestling magazine from Jolene? Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Yeah, yes, we did. Yes, this is the magazine I lent to Jolene. All right. You are a true hero. Thank you. Here is my thanks to you. Thank <laughs> you.
Oops. <laughs> and then I hit her with a hammer, which is fantastic. <laughs> It's a little bit hard to keep to like a functional register in that, but it's hard to overstate my satisfaction. I hope you enjoyed that. I got this guy. Very nice. We are still going with the pattern of jumping on everything. Um, so yeah, thank you, Fal, for redeeming that voice acting the bang is on demand, which is just, you know. Oh no. I don't even remember that context. I can't wait to like listen to that again. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Snakebird Priestess, for, for that prime sub! Thank you for, you know, just coming in here, being awesome, supporting the channel a little bit whenever you can. So thank you. I feel very honored at being the recipient of your prime sub this month. This month. Um, so yeah, enjoy your, your Lady QEW uh welcome and wow emotes um i think that they are delightful creations and i'm hoping to get another one soon it is it is in the works and so maybe you'll even be lucky enough um to be one of the people who is subbed when that one comes through wink wink everybody i'm just so happy liked how the singing came across in that moment <laughs> i appreciate that pal love it and thank you so much as usual for being fantastic on the clip button. Um, I cannot wait to watch that. Oh, sweet bird, you're a sweetheart. That's delightful. I don't know if Petulant Cobra has noticed this. I know they were here earlier, but I feel like they might be lurking. I did actually add a command like specifically for them today. Um, yeah, I see that lurk. I, I added, I think it's working, um, a redeem rant topical, just because I know I consistently tease K Metzel about that. So who do I have and who do I not? I have not upgraded Ms. Mouse or but everybody else is good. Okay, I think it's... <laughs> Were you just waiting for that Petulant Cobra? You know what? Petulant Cobra, thank you so much for redeeming right about Topic with a selection of classical music. So first of all, I'm going to just toss out there um, something that many of us might already know, which is the absolute gobsmacking information of Tchaikovsky stealing bits and pieces of the melody and original composition for the Marseillaise for his 1812 symphony, which is just rude. Um, can I just say? Stealing music? I mean, that's really only for the greatest composers, so maybe Chaik is just one of those, according to what I've learned. However, for reals though, for reals, um, some of y'all may not know this, but I actually have uh, classical performance training, which means there is a lot about classical music in which I have like very strong opinions. Um, many of them are totally non-defensible, which is why this was, you know, just futile ranting by the streamer for this redemption. So I am going to rant to you about my favorite topic in classical music, and that is John Cage, which is my favorite topic to rant about because John Cage is somehow classified as a composer of modern classical music. And John Cage has a particular composition which infuriates me utterly, which is called 433. Um, that is written four with an apostrophe and then 33 with like a quote mark, kind of like how you would write four feet 33 inches, but it means four minutes 33 seconds. And it is a composition in which he poured his entire philosophy of music. And his philosophy of music is thus. Everything is music, as long as you have put it to some sort of structure. And therefore, the structure of the empty silence of the three movement piece, four minutes, 33 seconds, is whatever noise happens during whatever time you spend playing that piece. 
<sighs> and I might. I might. Because the fact that it's in three movements is actually kind of amusing. I might have been willing to be okay with that, except for the fact that it's specifically notated in the sheet music, because there is sheet music for this piece. Chat, there is sheet music for this piece. Notated at the top of the sheet music for this piece is that it can be played for any duration of time. So, <laughs> holy sheet. Correct, DM Shanks. That's great. So, in some ways, I would love to argue musical philosophy with him. But in other ways, I do not think that the pleasant sound of that guy in the third row coughing for the 50th time counts as music. And I just vehemently disagree. The empty set is a set kind of way. Yeah, like... Avant-garde. Yeah. Yeah. It is not his only composition. If it wasn't an insult to Jackson Pollock, I'd call him the Jackson Pollock of musicians. But I actually like Jackson Pollock's art. So, yep, you, you got it there, Snakebird. Like, I just wouldn't... I just... <laughs> shade. So if someone made a remix of that guy coughing. I mean... Well, that's just making me think of like all of the meme music that exists and like I'm so much more willing to call that music than anything John Cage has ever produced there is also which again like conceptually I feel like I know what you're going for but what you're producing like when you think about music you have to remember that there's an audience like art is about creation and it's also about consumption. And so depending on what you're trying to do, which is why I say I have a philosophical difference with this man. Not that I necessarily like, mm, I just don't think about music the same way he does. And so it puts me in a position where I just kind of have to not engage with his works, which is unfortunate. Um, but specifically, one of the other pieces that John Cage has composed is a piece on something like 50 different sheets of music, all of which contain about two lines of songs, and they are written on transparencies. And what you're supposed to do is throw them in the air before your performance, see where they land, shuffle them all together, and that is the music that you are playing that day. And I just... Ah. You know, I just... Um, I have never heard of Wolfpack Petulant Cobra, actually, so I am very curious to see what you come up with while well, I'm on my way to Bloodsville to try to finish another trouble, because of course. So do tell. Do tell me. I would not pay money to go to a John Cage concert. I would not pay money to... Really? I don't know a lot about Jackson Pollock, honestly. I just know his art style, and I've seen quite a lot of his art, and I overall do quite like it. So, propped up by the CIA. I'm curious as to what that implies. Okay, so in 2014, Volpeck released an album on Spotify, 10 tracks, 30 seconds each, all silent. Uh-huh. Did they legitimately try to copyright pauses? Like, I'm just thinking about DMCA takedowns and how frustrating that could get. Oh, this isn't even where I'm going. Sleepify. Play it on repeat while sleeping. I'm getting so distracted by this, like, musical concept that I completely forgot who I was here to talk to, who's actually outside. Mm -hmm. 
this is the guy. 20 grand in royalties. Wow. Okay, so I like the concept of putting on a concert with free admission. I'm a little sus of the methodology, though. Oh. That's actually a really interesting point, Snakebird Priestess. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! We raid with zeal and also eel? <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Hello, Kemi. Welcome in, Kemi. Welcome in. All of all of Kemi's wonderful like community. Thank you for stopping by. I am doing great, Kemi. How is your stream? How are you? How goes things. Thank you, Kmenzel, for shouting that out. Hello, bad at buttons. Oh, that's so cool to see you here. Yes, raid friends, welcome. Thank you. Welcome in. So wonderful to have everybody popping by. Welcome to the paper zone. <laughs> Damn shanks, that's fantastic. Yeah, so my name is Lady QEW. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I play principally Nintendo. Right now I'm going through the Paper Mario games. I started with Paper Mario. Now I'm working on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, just kind of casually playing through because I love these games. I think they're fantastic. And so hopefully I can share some of that fantasticness with you guys. Um, so what we are doing today... Oh! <laughs> Kay Menzel, thank you for that September choice. Kay Menzel, thank you for gifting five subs to the Q community. Congratulations to Focus Be Play, to Deanna3, to DJ Fluffkins, to Boomies, and to uh, that, that, that one. J, J to the Ames. J to the Ames, I assume some version of James. So congratulations to everybody who just got a lovely September gift. The stream was a lovely time. It's some huge progress in Mario Sunshine getting close to the end. Ooh, that is very exciting. I love Sunshine. It is a fantastic game. It is unfortunately three-dimensional, which means I'm much worse at it as I am at some of the other games, which is why, you know, I really like this one because, like, it's kind of mostly two-dimensional combat, but sometimes it isn't. It's fine. That is a lovely game. And very similarly to the Paper Mario series, I love the music in that game. The Delfino Plaza theme is solid one of my favorite, like, compositional tracks in a Mario game, which I, like, can't even. Hello, Focus. It is so nice to see you here. Welcome. Congratulations on your gift sub. Thanks to Kay Menzel, which is so great. But yeah, I, I adore the music in games like this, so that's why I have, like, that on and up so that everybody else can enjoy them too, you know? Yeah. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're solving a few troubles because we have made it through, we finished chapter six in this game. So we have six stars, which is crazy. And we've been told that next we have to go to the moon, which is also kind of crazy. Um, and so we talked to the professor about it and the professor doesn't know what to do. So he told us to amuse ourselves while he figured it out. So we left him doing some research and we're running around the world, just helping out everybody who's refusing to help us. Focus, thank you so much for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I really appreciate that. Always, always look after your streamers, folks. Yeah, we're just running around the whole world using non-Euclidean pipes, I believe is the term that Petulant Cobra <laughs> used. Um, so right now, we popped up to Glitzville using a blimp. Uh, if you are confused about any of this, that's okay. So, so is everybody. Um, and we're chatting with a businessman who has forgotten the code for his briefcase. Um, but is apparently a real chair fanatic. So in the meantime, look after your streamers, folks. Fellerings, thank you so much for redeeming Dehydrate for 96 channel points. Ekin, I think is how I say that. We're still working with the same selection, non, not sponsored by Ruffles, but it should be, because I know at least two people who bought chips after my last stream. Um, so... <laughs> we have ourselves some lovely Ruffles All Dressed Chips. If you're not a Canadian and have never heard of All Dressed Chips, they're delicious and wonderful, and you 100% should make your way into Canada when it's legal to, for you to do so to try them, because they're so good. So the dehydrate command is delightful. It's essentially, instead of looking after your streamer, you let them have some snacks. 
So I'm gonna take a little small handful of these chips, which are extremely salty, and I'm gonna eat those. Thank you so much, Valorants, for redeeming Dehydrate. And when my mouth is no longer full, I will have more. <laughs> Thank you, Sherby Hancock, for the follow. That's really lovely. Wonderful to, to meet you. Um, Val, Snakebird Priestess tried to post a link to cite the source for the CIA discussion that we were having earlier. <laughs> And it removed all of their messages, but I tried to unban them like super super quick <laughs> No citations allowed Yep <laughs> Yep, I feel like that's gonna happen in a lot of places <laughs> and I'm sorry about that But I really enjoyed the deletion and like the stars on that <laughs> Okay <laughs> I am being censored by the CRA who is acting for stream elephant spot as the mini. This is my new favorite conspiracy theory. I can't even breathe. <laughs> oh, bad of buttons. I'm so sorry to hear that you're sick. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for, like, stopping in. And just, like, it's really cool to have you guys here. I hope you are wonderfully snug, wrapped up. I actually did see your tweet that you had a bit of a sore throat, so I hope you're wonderfully snug, wrapped up with some nice, like, soothing drinks. And that's great. So, I'm gonna back up for a second because I had another redemption. Hey, Menzel, thank you for redeeming Ask Me Anything. What is your favorite Canadian food? That is a fantastic question, and like I feel as though whatever answer I give you is going to be wrong, but the answer I'm going to give you, because it is the closest to correct that I will ever be able to come up with defensively, is poutine. Poutine is my favorite Canadian food, and the reason that I can say poutine is that somehow we've managed to invent like both appetizer poutine, meal poutine, and dessert poutine. So you could have like a whole meal of poutine. And also, if I say poutine, I don't actually have to pick the type. Because <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. I know of a poutine place that has like 120 different flavors and they're all amazing. So that, that, that is my favorite. Yes. Exactly bad at buttons. Poutine is just delicious, especially when you have good cheese for the cheese curds and good gravy. Good gravy, I sound like Charlie Brown. Yes, very like pizza. You can love poutine and not have to be so attached to what you have as the toppings on that specific version of the meal. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So back to the businessman who's been patiently waiting for just a really long time for me to get back to him. <laughs> so he's obsessed with chairs, he told us this. And so he uses the number of chairs in the houses he visits as the code, which is totally secure. Don't judge me, I know it's weird. You've gotta visit those places and count the chairs. So I'm just gonna tell y'all a secret. I'm pretty sure we've been to all of those places. And like, even if we hadn't been, I'm just gonna put the answer in anyway, because I don't want to actually take half an hour to run around the world again to get him his answer. So the code has four digits. The locations of the chairs are Krupp's House in Petalburg, which is the one for anyone who was watching. When I kind of cycled into the backyard of that one place to get the shine spray, Krupp's house, oh no, Krupp's house is the mayor, Never mind. I'm wrong. Oops. I know, it would be so great if it was just in the trouble that I needed to go to these places, but whatever. So Krups is the mayor in Puddleburg. Flurry's house in the Bogley Woods is where we picked up our delightful friend Flurry. So you think that Krups's chairs are pink and Flurry's chair is green. Okay, 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 I like this. Uh, the third place with chairs is Don Pianta's office in Rogueport, which is like, it's just super lucky for this. Wait, hold on. This businessman just admitted that he traveled to visit like the Don of the mob in, on business. He has dealings with the mob chat. That one's definitely blue. Okay. I believe you. And, uh, the fourth one is in Toodle's house in Poshley Heights. 
which we just were there to give some wrestling magazines. Maybe the Don does share his passion for chairs. I know he shares, like, you know, his passion for family with Mario, apparently. Maybe purple? Okay, okay. Oh, and I counted the sweet, sweet chair in her lovely garden also. I know it's a lot, but please help. And remember, a chair is anything you can sit on. Garden chair is probably yellow. That's fair. So anything you can sit on is a very broad definition. I think the trick there is Toodles has a piano with a piano bench, and we're supposed to, like, count that. Sure thing, chair guy. I totally have the code. How many wonderful chairs were in Kroops' house in Petalburg? How many gorgeous chairs? Oh, only gorgeous chairs? Ooh, I probably should subtract a couple of numbers from what I was looking at. We're in Flurry's house in the Bogley Woods. I'll tell you this, she lives in a mansion, so there's a lot. I don't know, Kemi, I really liked your colors and I 100% wish that I could submit them. <laughs> the third number, how many chairs were in Don Piazza's office? I'm, like, I'm honestly super tempted now to go to all of these places to see if your color choices were correct. I mean, I assumed. <laughs> it was pretty delightful. <clears throat> but toodles by far over everyone, because we're counting... Oops. Nope, I did that wrong. Um, yep, thank you. I input that incorrectly. Which means now this is going to take longer, because I was laughing. Oh, okay. So there are two houses in Petalburg. Flurry lives in a mansion. There we go. Perfect. I'm heavy. I feel like you're gonna make me do a weird, but I'm I'm very very much invested in visiting some of these places for you now. Tongue blistering fat dog. I'm not sure that I would want one of those. Um, but we got some hot sauce, which is great. Um, the cool thing about this particular trouble is hot sauce is one of the things that you need to get all of the recipes, and you need many of them. And this guy just like gives you one every time you talk to him now, because we've like solved his problems. So Kroops' house, Flurry's house. Toodles' house. My gosh, I don't even remember where the third house is right now, but I can definitely go to three of them. Don, Don Pianta's office, that's it. Okay, okay. So Don Pianta's office we can go to as soon as we get back on the blip. And then I have pipes that are gonna take me to Kroops' house and to Toodles' house. Flurries is the one that's going to be difficult because I actually have to go somewhere for that. I do not know if those cheeks know how to skate, Val, but I really appreciate your joke. That's very funny. Okay. So, because I am curious about color, you said Don Pianta's was probably blue, I think. Focus, thank you so much for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I appreciate that because I've been talking a lot and I definitely just ate chips. And then like didn't take a drink. Blue because he's in the port made me think of water. Yeah. That's totally fair. So this is how you get to Don Pianta's office. Um, initially we had to like buy things and then talk to her so that she would actually let us use the back door here. Which is, you know, fine. Kimenzel, thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. Okay, Menzel, thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. Okay, Menzel, thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. <laughs> no, thank you for redeeming Dehydrate for 96 channel points. That was so great. Just wait till he finishes and then go, I'm going to undo all of that. I accept it. I am amused. I am also honestly amazed that you had points left. So 
So this is the Don's house. He does have two chairs, exactly the way I said. But they're actually green. I completely agree, Kemi. It was a great guess. You're very close. And you make a valid point. Maybe they were blue first before we added the yellow that we needed to make green. Wait, I need pipes. Okay. So then you had guessed pink for croups, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm just navigating through some sewers, no big deal, chat. Yeah, because Pebbles and Petalburg. Oh, that's a really sweet guess. I like that guess. So we'll take a look. These pipes do not take me where I want to go first. These ones do. So Petalburg is the first little town I ever went to. So it's the first. <laughs> oh, I don't mind humoring you. I'm amused too because I never would have thought of the color. So it's interesting when you say pink, Kimmy, is that that lovely pink house is Krups's place. Does, does be where he live. But his, oh, his seats are also green, dude. Are we gonna have to have words? Your whole house is pink, but your seats are green? It is so darn pink, which means I kind of figured they would go for a contrasting color for the chairs, personally, but your guess was so spot on, given that it is the pink house. He lives in the only pink house in the game, I swear. Toodles' house is actually kind of pink. Um, so we're gonna go there next. So Toodles lives in Poshley Heights. She's very rich, which is why she has so many chairs. But she also doesn't live very close to the pipe, so. Y'all are getting a tour of me. I, honestly, I was completing troubles anyway, so this is just more running around the world. So this is Toodles' house. Now I think you said that the garden chair was yellow. Um, it is white. You did say purple for the chairs on the inside. This one's pretty purple. I think you can have that one. A lot of her other ones are this weirdish, fancy white and red jazz, but this one's definitely purple. And at a chair is anything you can sit on, you shall take it. Yes. So that's pretty good. Um, now, what did you say for Flurry's house? Cause was Flurry the one where you said green? <laughs> and we've had like two greens, okay. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> wow, that that was an autocorrect on my pipe jump. Almost said brown, okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. We'll keep it in mind. We can still give you like honorary points. So Flurry lives in the Bogley Woods, which means I'm actually gonna be like having to do combat to get here. <laughs> because Although we can get a pipe to the lovely Bogley tree, that is not where Flurry lived. Um, chat, just for anybody who's curious, this is Flurry. She is an actress. And pretty full of hot air. So it's her house we're going to. She currently is not residing there because she decided she wanted to travel with me. A bit of a diva. A lot of a diva. You have her pegged right. Okay. We're super powerful now, though, so I feel like the combat that we are going to be getting ourselves into probably won't be that difficult. So we need to turn into a plane. I have a feeling that with six different chairs in the house, at least one of them probably is green. <laughs> but I also legitimately don't know. So we're gonna see when we get there, because I've never considered caring about the colors before. Okay, Flurry, show us your skills. Beautiful. 
I love how she's made of cloud, but her, like, attack is a body slam as though she has weight. But, like, she's just floating there. I like money. I will collect that money. Thank you. Oh, look! Look at that beautiful mansion in the distance. Let's go. Let's go, chat. I'm way too amused by this side quest. Okay, so there's two of them. There were six, I think. Three, four. <gasps> no! She's so color coordinated! Every single one of these is the same weird pinkish color! Man! Clary, you couldn't have even had one chair that didn't clash with your literal body. Ugh. 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 That is a disappointment. No green chair. Sob. They are all lipstick colored. That is fair, actually. Well, you know what? You got one out of four, and considering you were blind guessing, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but now. I'm just gonna go? Whoops. That kind of can't. That's okay, there's only two of them. For no reason whatsoever, because I'm not even sure they're still here, but Notorious Mango redeemed like a jump man command a while ago. And because this isn't a combat heavy game, I've been trying to complete like all of the combats ever since with jump attacks, which has been pretty fun. So thankfully, Flurry actually like, kind of counts as that. No, I are. Well, actually, can I fling myself off this? Can I get to here? Yes, I can. That's good. That's good. I like that. Ooh. Well, that's very interesting. Nice to meet you, Abyss Demon Sands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Super happy to make your acquaintance. It's it's almost like um, I'm just gonna give you a little 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 one of those. Um, I typically cause is the Nintendo Direct this evening, Kimenzo. When is it? I really like watching people's reactions to the Nintendo Direct, but I don't often like like I tend to be on Twitter watching like what Focus has to say or like be watching what Fiend has to say or something. It's at six. Okay, okay. Um, six for us, five p.m. CDT. That makes sense. Maybe. Yeah, if Fiend's streaming it, I might try to be in her stream. Oh my gosh. I want to fight you. Live tweeting. Honestly, I feel like it would be fun if Twitter wasn't so awful with, um, like with timelines because it doesn't actually show stuff in the order that they're that they're sent and so like i would love to watch someone live tweet an event but like i never know like i never get to see anything in order it's it's a little bit odd maybe it's my settings or something like that yeah like it's just it's just odd what they have changed i have feels about it I'm gonna take Flurry back because I want to be able to push him. Oh! That's a really smart idea, actually. Like, threading it so that people can, like, be watching your responses. Still only using jump-based attacks. This is fabulous. Yeah, to just be on the profile page. That makes a lot of sense, but it does make it like a little bit more difficult to get more than one perspective if that's what you're looking for. Which like in some instances, so like it it feels like today if I'm if I'm gonna be on Twitter while it's going on, if I like 
Queen's Pin, in your opinion, Focus's opinion. Like, it feels that I have, like, a minimum number of people that I could be trying to keep track of, but that does make it really difficult for things. Like, I know that, um, I watch a lot of League of Legends, which is just a way to out myself as, as a bit of a nerd. Um, and I know that a lot of the, like, analysts, casters, players, um, they tend to live tweet during games, especially games that they're invested in. And it's always really hard to keep track of what's going on because there's just so many people saying so many different things at so many different times. And you're like, I literally don't know what's happening. So yeah, that that's fair. <laughs> that's fair, actually. Way to think that through. <laughs> so the last trouble that I have is I need to get a golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. Golden leaf, mystic egg, keel mango. I think I have two of those items already. I wonder if Professor Frankly's done. I really would like to go to the moon, but... You know. <gasps> Volume 3 of Luigi is out! Yes! Yes, I want to buy Volume 3 of Super Luigi. Man, have you even met me? Um, what do I have that I don't need? I don't need a stopwatch. Um, gosh, so many things. How are things doing in terms of my storage? Three more items! Oh, that's not going to go well. Not at all. Not at all. I'm gonna need to actually start making things, chat. I saw that. Cause, whoops. I also meant to sell this one. Lovely. Okay. So. What have I got? Oh gosh. So I have a golden leaf. I do not have a keel mango. Okay. That's fine though. I do know where to go to get one. Item management, guys. Just the, the item management. Okay. So I need an egg and a keel mango. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go run around the world again, because that's definitely going to be required for this. Ooh. So, Zienna, thank you so much for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. And congratulations on your gifted sub, by the way. Someone dropped it on you earlier today. So it's nice to see you here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the place to get the egg is in the Boggly Woods. Solid redeem. Come on, Sal. Lovely to see you and your lady QE welcome. That is delightful. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that is very interesting. Thank you so much for being here, Kemi. Thank you for the fun. Thank you for the raid. Um, it is always delightful to see you, and you have yourself a super day. And I'm excited. I'm excited. And hopefully, I'll be able to jump on your tweet, tweet, Twitter thread later. You're welcome for the chairs. You have yourself a lovely time. Zienna, thank you for redeeming Dehydrate for 96 channel points. Okay. I'm just gonna grab myself a small little handful of some chips. Okay. So I think this is how you get the egg, chat. What dehydrate was? Yeah. 
basically it's make me eat a salty food. <laughs> Today's selection, not sponsored, but go buy some, they're so good. So, I think to get a Mystic Egg, we need to play a game with Petuni. Is always getting in trouble with the elder. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario! Can't you play with me instead? Yes. Okay, okay. This is so awesome. Ready to play Stump Patuni? You ask me any questions you want. There isn't a question I can't answer. Come on. Create an easy question that Patuni can answer. So they're giving us like multiple choice fill in the blank for this, which is pretty crazy. But my name's Mario, so we're gonna start with Mario. I don't think I study or decorate anything, so I'm gonna say likes. What tree trunk? Which person? Most. Person Mario likes the most to eat Mario that? You can't stump Petunie. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. <laughs> Am I right? Yay, yeah, I'm right! See, Petunie knows the answers to everything. Oh, oh, that was fun. Thanks for playing with me. Here, here's a present. And she gives me a Mystic Egg. Please play again sometime. So that is what you do to get the Mystic Egg in this game chat, which we are going to need to do at other times, because I think we also need the Mystic Egg to make an omelet at some point. But the only question that you can ask her is that one because she doesn't know the answer to any other combination of the multiple choice blanks. So there's some limitations, shall we say. Okay, and now we need a keel mango. And since it's called a keel mango, I'm kind of gonna assume that it's in keel hall key. Ta-da, I found a keel mango. Okay, I got what I needed. But, we're about to get to the complicated part of this trouble, folks. Which is that in order to complete it, we need to be able to talk to Chef Shimi. And Chef Shimi works on the Excess Express. I'm still solving things exclusively with jumps. I hope that he actually does two damage on the first one. Nice. Oh, cool. Maybe they don't actually have a defense stat. Oh, cool. Also, we might level up. This, this could be neat. This could be a fun time. I would enjoy that. Let's see if we can. Ooh. I can't get rid of both of these guys, chat. Not if I'm only getting used to attacks, which of course I can. Okay, so this guy is about to freak out, I think. And I'm gonna dodge. Ooh! Great times. Great times. So that was worth it for a level up. Oh my gosh, there's so much hydrate in my rewards queue right now. That was very funny. I'm sure, let's go with that for now. Then we can do some more flower points, and then maybe, the, maybe some more badge points, which are absolutely my favorite. But like, it's also nice to not get one hit KO'd. Occasionally. Occasionally. Okay. So we're gonna finish up this trouble. And then we're gonna see if Professor Frankly is done. Or if I need to find an NPC to talk to to prompt him to finish up. It's 
So despite the fact that I now have a non-Euclidean pipe, which allows me to fast travel to Poshley Heights, in order to complete this trouble, I need to go the slow way. So I'm just gonna hit this big block. For fun. For funsies, you know. Because you can't actually get on the Excess Express without getting on the Excess Express, which takes three days. However, unlike when you are completing the chapter, um, you don't have to talk to a bunch of NPCs, I believe. Um, I think you can just like activate the cutscenes that let you travel like a lot more quickly. So first things first, I got the same room, which is great, because that gives me very close proximity to the dining car. Ah, random other customers here. Hello! Hello! Yes, hello to you. Thank you for accepting my request. So we need a golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a kill ma mango. I have a golden leaf. I have a mystic egg. And I have a kill mango. And he just gave me a lot of money, which is pretty lovely. I appreciate it, my dude. I appreciate it. So now what I'm going to try, because I really want to get to day two as fast as possible, frankly, is I'm going to try sleeping. Howdy, RJ Helms. Nice to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing today? We are back on the Excess Express for like as few minutes as I can manage because we needed to complete a trouble for the chef uh, and now we just want to get to Poshley Heights as fast as we can. Um, so once we go to bed, to bed for the night, we then get kicked off the train at Riverside Station and I think all we need to do is get back on because we don't have to solve a problem this time. And then I think we just need to go to bed for the night again so that the train can reach Poshley Heights for the third day. So it's a much less harrowing journey this time um, and hopefully it does not involve a boss fight. But time will not advance on the train if you do not go to bed. So yeah, yeah. This trouble is not my favorite trouble. I'm wishing I was on a swanky train with Mario. Well, you know what, RJ Helms, you are not the only person wishing that. Um, though I kind of wish I was in a swanky pipe. Uh, that's how real trains work too. They don't advance time until you go to bed for the night. The thing is, all of this is very cutscene, and so they definitely could have made it shorter, but they didn't, and that's fine. It's totally fine. I mean, I probably could have fun talking to whomever the passengers are this time, but nah. So we've run all the way around the world again, again, for like the fourth time today. But we're gonna take the quick route back which is a pipe. Riding a Yoshi while you're on a train. I think it might break the laws of Mario physics. Super, super crazy. Super crazy deal. Okay. So now I'm back in Rogueport because, yep, we just is. And I'm still only using my jump attacks. Cause that's fun. <laughs> Delightful. Ooh, that was a nice get. 
Followers, thank you for returning first. <laughs> this late in the stream, that's amazing. Thank you so much for that redemption, Fal. You get to be first, officially, for this stream. And that's fantastic. Falerix, thank you as well for redeeming word of the stream. For redeeming first as word of the stream. That was delightful. I love that. Let's let's do that. So that was a nice orangey color for no reason other than it is what I got. Voila! So we have ourselves the word of the stream, word of the day, word of the weekend, you know, you know. Sun won't be streaming again for Monday. So, like, well, at least not on this channel. So thank you again for redeeming word of the stream first. And thank you, Focus, for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I appreciate all of you. Okay, back into the pipe. So, we've completed all the troubles. We really, really have. Excuse me, my dude. I, I would really like to go into this pipe, thank you. 3D space, man. When you're made of paper, it doesn't make any sense. So let's go talk to Professor Franklin. It is possible that there is something I need to do to actually activate a change in this cutscene. It's also possible that I could have walked into the house, walked back in, and just had it work. Nah, I'm not gonna get that distracted by you, actually. Never mind. Okay, what's up, my dude? Excellent timing! I have finally have it! I found a way that might get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. We're gonna use a cannon to blast ourselves to the moon. I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere, even to the moon. This is gonna be so cool! Just point the way! I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rokeport, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Hey, right on! We already got one of those! Yes, we did. We'll use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost then. Get to it. So, I think... Oh wow, there are bo there are bo bombs in Far Outpost, and they're a surly bunch, and they might not like me, but I'm sure we'll handle that when we get to it. Um, so I think that if you go to the Thousand Year Door, um, the way you're supposed to when you come back from a chapter, instead of running all over the world like I did. Um, if you go to the Thousand Year Door and then go directly to Professor Frankly, I believe what you need to do in order to activate that Professor Frankly cutscene is locate the Ultra Hammer, but I 100% did that before I even went to the Thousand Year Door because I know that it's there. The other thing that I know is where the Far Outpost is. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna real quick do some finding. And again, we're still just using our jump command. So the reason that I jumped off there is because there is a block up there that I can destroy with the Ultra Hammer. Yeah, obviously, of course there is. There's also an X on the floor here. And there's a couple of places that we can go with some pipes. And so I'm not really ready to go to the Far Outpost yet. Ooh! 
Shatter72. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the follow. Really lovely to have you. Uh, I think I want to go up this time. I'm realizing there's another... Actually, there's two. Ooh. There's two other pipes that I need to explore before I can go to the far out coast pipe. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. One of them, I think, is over here. <laughs> I think. RJ Helm, thank you so much for that tier one sub. That is super delightful. Um, I'm gonna do what I've been doing for everybody, which is three Lady Kiwi Wows for three months of subs. It's been so lovely to have you here for a whole three months. That is utterly delightful and just, you know, really great. And I appreciate it. And the really cool thing is, I do actually have a new emote in process of being commissioned. And so hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll actually have that. So yeah, thank you again for that wonderful sub, Archie Hems. Okay, so that was another pipe that I wanted to explore. Yeah, I know, it's real exciting. I'm very excited. And then, way too aware of the passage of time. I know, it's, it's something, isn't it? So there's also a pipe here, chat. And one of the places you can go on this pipe is to this wall, which on this side looks perfectly normal, but which we 100% know from the other side is explosive. Focus when I get the templates for it, I will absolutely send it to you in Discord so that you can take a look at it. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm also getting a, a channel points graphic so that our meaningless calories can actually be something other than a little circle. I'm, I'm very excited. Okay, so this pipe is very long. Oh! <laughs> hey Wenzel, thank you so much for gifting that sub to the community to a passage of time. Thank you for again making us all aware of it. So what's interesting about this is for some reason I want to go this way. No, I can't. That's a shame. I know. I know, Zianna. I know. I have, I have an even more, like, on point one that I could do there, but like, my, my goodness. There's got to be something in here other than a star piece, you would think, right? Nope. That's it. All that, just for a star piece. Okay. Okay, I can accept that. Oh, nope. <laughs> um, it's... Should I? Was I supposed to at you, Kim Menzel? I know you're not here, but... Whoops. I was not in the right place for that. I think I might have been supposed to... I'm gonna try this again. Aha! There we go. I was supposed to at him. Oh man, he still got away! That's rude. That's rude. You get your fiend smug out of here. Shake my fist in your general direction. There, I shake my fist in your general direction indeed. Okay, so those are some pipes. I think those are the only pipes. Yeah, that's okay. I did that too, Zienna. That just means you have to stay here forever. That's what I'm doing. Okay, but seriously. All, all side quests aside. I think I know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I have one shine sprite. I need two more shine sprites, chat. 
I'm getting so close to end game, you know? Okay. 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 No more awkward side questing. No, I'm not gonna go in and ask her to cook up a mushroom for me, just because I need to do all of the recipes. I'm not gonna do it. Whoop! Gosh, it terrifies me how Vivian just stays tall. Ta-da! I found a pipe! Chat! Oh, you're, you're so hungry? Fal, I thought you went and got yourself some food in DM Shanks' stream. Are, are you hungered again? I think I might have found it. Mario shoots the moon! It's chapter 7, chat! We did locate chapter 7, finally, finally, after doing everything else. Oh, there's a lot of ice. Wow, uh, seriously, it's so cold. Let's hurry up before we become popsicles. Far outpost must be just ahead. Okay, so we have located the pipe, but I'm gonna do a weird because it is 10 to four and there's no save block on the screen. Lady QW needs a sponsorship. That is correct. Val, thank you so much for redeeming Dehydrate for 96 channel points. You got it. Sienna, thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. The sponsorships are delicious, Fal. Like, honestly, I wouldn't have snacks if I didn't like them. Unless they were snacks that came in so liked, then I might have them. Um, but at the moment, I don't. Oh, there's a save block right there. That's okay. This one's better. The one I'm going for is better. It'll be fine. I just very much think Ruffles needs to sponsor me and give me, like, so many chips. Okay. So we started Chapter 7, Chad. We really, really did. I swear we did. We got, like, the screen and everything for it. But we're going to be done for the day. Um, so we are going to uh, try to find somebody to raid. But in the meantime, we'll actually be getting to kind of the meat of starting up Chapter 7 on my next stream, which is going to be Monday at 2 p.m. EST. So that's my normal streaming time. If you're new here, I, um, I'm Lady QEW. I stream Mondays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. EST. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's my usual deal. Flickerish all sorts. Yes, it is a specific type of licorice quote unquote it's a type of candy it's it's basically like assembled different types of colored and black licorice mixes which look like they should be delicious and all kind of taste like black licorice and k menzel really likes them and i will be offering no commentary on that okay so I don't see a lot of people live right now, which means I think, oh yeah, yeah, Kimenzel can have them all. He, he totally knows that. It's, I'm very, very fine with that. Um, we are going to be raiding Taterholic, uh, who is playing Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I do not know anything about the game, but I know that the streamer is lovely. Oops. For some reason I wanted to put Cayman's leave as part of my raid message, so that tells you that tells you what's up with me today. What have we got? What chaos? RJ Helms also likes all sorts, that's fine. One of them was just what if the flavors is just cube? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, you two can figure out whether Sugar Mountain is still there. I'm happy to have y'all continue with that. Um, will I get things started over here? So enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you tuned in today, if you, um, stopped by for the first time, know that I'm super happy to meet you. Lovely to have you all. I had a great time with you this afternoon. Hopefully I'll get to see you again. Um, thank you again so much to those who hype trained, those who subbed, those who followed, those who donated bits those who redeemed channel points because all of those make the stream a lot more fun for me because <laughs> I get to eat chips as a thank you to chat <laughs> among other things um but yeah I had myself a wonderful time and I hope you guys did too and I hope I'll get to see you again uh, just a reminder that I do also play D&D as part of top down tabletop and we are starting a new campaign with a one shot this Saturday so if you're free this Saturday evening you might want to tune in um and other than that Maybe I'll come back and I'll get to enjoy the pleasure of your company one more time. But for now, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful time, and a wonderful weekend, if so applicable. Now, go and be nice to Tater, please. <laughs> Bye.